Hey my dudes, my name is Cecilia and welcome to another week here in my kitchen in Stockholm and I'm very excited because a couple weeks ago I got this gorgeous bad boy. It is an ice cream machine and I've been playing around with it and the first ice cream I think I've really really nailed is a dark chocolate ice cream you guys. It is so rich and deep and decadent and so 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 chocolatey. You're gonna love it. But let's first talk about a few of the ingredients that go into this before we get into making it. So first and foremost is the chocolate. The most important thing with this recipe is just that you use the absolute best dark chocolate you can afford. I have gotten some really great chocolate from this company, Choco. They have kindly gifted me these two, so we're gonna use them today. It's not single origin, it's single varietal. It has all of these really intense red fruit notes, lots of cherry, lots of red currant, that kind of thing. And what's also fun about them being able to work with single varietals instead of single origin is that they can roast at really low temperatures. So there's none of that bitterness that you normally get in a light chocolate. There's a lot more acid and fruit flavor, which is really fun, I think, in a chocolate, very different. I have a link down below to their website if you guys would like to test these out. The next ingredient I'd like to talk about is dextrose. Now, take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt because I did cheat my way through my high school chemistry class, but as far as I can understand, dextrose is basically glucose and the same glucose that we find in our bloodstream. It's just another sugar. It's nothing to be afraid of. All sugars are fine in moderation, right? The whole game with ice creams is trying to minimize ice crystal formation. And when you get big ice crystals in your ice cream, that's when your ice cream gets really grainy and melts fast and it's just not nice in your mouth. So we add a little bit of dextrose and this helps make our ice cream really nice and smooth. Every ingredient that I tell you in my ice creams, you should be able to find in your local grocery or health food store, including dextrose. If you, however, cannot find dextrose in your local grocery store or health food store, I have linked to it down below in the description so you can find it down there, okay? Now, enough talking, let's get started with some ice cream. First, place 200 grams of chocolate in a bowl. Melt, then set to the side. Add 36 grams of dextrose, 28 grams of milk powder, 575 grams of whole milk, and 50 grams of cream to a pot. Stir to combine and set to the side for a sec. Next, add four egg yolks and 100 grams of sugar to a bowl. Stir the yolks and sugar together. Don't do this step too far ahead as the sugar can cook the yolks. Begin heating up the milk mixture. Stir continuously until it starts to steam. Take off the heat and temper into your yolk and sugar mixture. Gradually add it in so as not to cook the eggs. Place the whole thing back on the stove and while whisking vigorously and continuously, bring to 83 degrees Celsius. As soon as it hits 83, take off the heat and strain into a bowl. Allow to cool till around 50 degrees. Once the base has cooled down, add a bit at a time to the melted chocolate so that it breaks. Get it real grainy. Keep adding a bit of base so that the chocolate comes together and forms a smooth ganache. Now that the chocolate is emulsified, you can add the rest of your base. Stir very, very well. Cover with plastic wrap on contact and refrigerate until totally cool. This is best done overnight, but let it cool for at least three hours. It has been about three hours now and my base is ah, cool enough. Again, this is much better if you can like have the patience to wait overnight, but as has been established, I have zero patience. So three hours is gonna be good enough. Next, it's very, very important to blend this before you put it in the mixer. So that way it's completely, completely smooth. I like to use my hand blender, but if you only have a whisk, use that. You can use a regular blender. I love my hand blender and I don't have a regular blender, so we're using this today. Good enough. Always, always unplug first thing. The stories I could tell you about injuries with the hand blender. Be careful, use carefully. Now, all we gotta do is fill this bad boy up. This is how my particular machine works. 
do this part based on how your machine works. Lid on. And I know that this is gonna take me, this machine has like a timer that starts at 60 minutes, but I know it's gonna only take about 40. And let's go. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so I kind of accidentally overfilled this. Oops. Um, so I'm not quite sure how frozen this is. I think it'll still be good. I would like for it to be a little bit more frozen than it is right now, um, but I think it's still going to be okay. Uh, read your uh, owner manual better than I did. <laughs> Oops. Oh well, you know what? It's gonna be fine. So I have my little plastic container. And it's always important to let your ice cream like set in the freezer for a little bit because otherwise it's basically just soft serve. When I tested this, I didn't like want to waste too much ice cream. So I like tested with half batches, which I know better than to test with half batches and then to just make the full batch on camera. But you know what? Then things like this happen <laughs> and it's fine. Also, you should try to do this part as quickly as possible. This does not feel very fast to me, but I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best, you guys. We're gonna let it set for about 45 minutes in the freezer. So it's been about 45 minutes now, and I think it is time for us to look at our ice cream. All right, so it's still a little bit soft, but that's gonna be okay for us today. Texture looks great. Of course, it's hardening uh, more on the sides, obviously. This like thin plastic container obviously is not gonna make, you know, for the best insulation ever, but I think it's gonna be good enough. So now let's scoop and see how it is. Beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. I can quinell, but I can't sing. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, I kind of clipped my edge there a little bit, but good enough. I'm so impressed with myself. Beautiful. I think they look super nice. Let me pop this ice cream back in the freezer before I do this taste test because I don't want my ice cream to melt on me. All right, let's taste test here. Mm. Wow, it's really rich and fruity and just has that like really perfect chocolatey flavor. Mm. And it's so smooth, I'm happy. And I think you guys will be too. I think you'll really, really like this. It's delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this week's video, then go ahead and check out this video. And I hope to see you guys around next week. Hey,